If You Lived 100 Years Ago by Ann McGovern, illustrated by Anna DeVito. Then and now. In the 1890s, life in America was changing fast. Every day, newspapers printed stories of new inventions. Skyscrapers of 20 stories rose above city skylines. Changes took place on farms, in towns, and even in cities. This book tells how, you how people lived in New York City in the 1890s. If you lived in the 1890s, you wouldn't know about TV, computers, plastic, airplanes, movies with sound, or space travel. Just turning on a light switch was a new experience. You don't hear the sounds today that you heard in the 1890s, such as gas lamps hissing, horse hooves clopping, and the cracking of whips, changing iron wheels, or the cries of pushcart vendors. Think about how you got to school today. In 1899, there were no such thing as school buses. Think about what you ate today. In the 1890s, there were no pizzas, potato chips, french fries, burritos, or frozen foods. Your life would be completely different. That time is often called the good old days, but it wasn't good for everyone. The rich were very rich and the poor were very poor. Would you have electricity? In the late 1890s, electric lights were slowly taking the place of oil and gas lights in the homes of the rich. Most people could not afford electricity yet. They still used smoky kerosene lights. Most people didn't have electricity in their homes until the 1900s. Before then, your mother would cook the food on a coal range. Ironing meant using a flat iron, which was heated on the stove. Dishes were washed by hand. And if you had a rug, it was slept, swept with a broom or a carpet sweeper. What were some of the new inventions? By the 1890s, people were using things they had never dreamed of before. Drinking straws, chewing gum, zippers, safety pens, bottled Coca-Cola, fountain pens, typewriters, safety razors, postcards, carpet sweepers, or even home sewing machines. In 1899, Orville and Wilbur Wright of Dayton, Ohio, were working on an invention called the airplane, but it didn't fly into the year 1903. What did things cost in the 1890s? A ticket to a baseball game only cost 50 cents. It cost five cents for the one minute trip on a roller coaster at Coney Island and 10 cents on the bus ride to the five mile length of Fifth Avenue. A clock that ran for eight days without winding cost $7.20. An alarm clock was 60 cents more. A watch was $3.65. You could get a cheap camera for only $1 in 1899, or better cameras sold for $25. You could get a pair of shoes for $1.95. A new bike cost $14.95, and it cost only three cents to mail a letter. How much money did people make back then? The average pay for a man was 22 cents an hour for a 59 hour work week, about $13 a week. How did people get around? Not by car. In 1895, there were only eight automobiles in the entire country. The next year, there were only 16. By 1899, there were 2,300. And by 1900, there were 8,000 cars in the United States. But it would be some years before the streets were filled with cars. In addition, people traveled by boat, feet, bicycles or horses. What kind of slang did people use? An important person was called a big bug. If you did well in school, your teacher might say, bully for you. If you were a classy dresser, you'd be called a dude. If you were a fast runner, you'd go faster than grease lightning. Anyone who showed courage or toughness was full of grit. If you got mad about something, you'd get into a pucker. If your teacher was a woman, she'd be a school mom. If you were making a commotion, you'd be whacking snakes. 
who went to school. Every child was supposed to go to school, but poor children needed to work to help their families. Some children who worked during the day tried to go to night school, but they were so tired from working all day that they often fell asleep. The rich were taught at home by private tutors or they went to private school. What were public schools like? Many were terrible. They were overcrowded, filthy, and poorly lit. Schools that were built for 1,000 children often had twice that many. Sometimes there would be 100 or more students in a classroom. Desks had to be shared by two or three children. School books were shared too. In one school in the slums, there weren't any benches or chairs. The children had to sit on the dirty floor. There were no playgrounds. What were teachers like? They didn't have much training. Some children knew more than their teachers. Teachers drilled facts and figures into their students. They used the rod and switch to punish them. Some teachers didn't try to break up violent fights between the children. They were afraid to get in the middle of boys who were biting and slugging each other and throwing stones. If women teachers got married, they were fired. But it was okay for a male teacher to get married. What did you learn? You learn to spell better than you learn to think. You learn by memory, repeating your lessons over and over. If you were a good speller, you were considered a good student. The more facts you knew, the better grades you got. How do you think life will change in the next 100 years?